Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be going over what to buy and what to avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now before we get into the video, I'm just going to quickly remind everybody that if you watch this content every week, you should consider subscribing to my channel because a lot of you guys watch, but not a lot of you guys subscribe. So subscribe if you like this content and my other stuff that I post. And you guys have been killing it recently, so many new subscribers and I do love to see it. Now of course, starting off with the vehicle sitting here behind me, this is of course the Vapid Caracara. Not to be confused with the Vapid Caracara 4x4, this is just the regular Caracara, and of course it is a 6x6. Pretty cool looking, and of course you may notice that it has a gigantic gun in the back of it. This thing outputs a pretty significant amount of damage, and it is pretty fun to use. Now unfortunately the vehicle doesn't have any sort of armor or really any sort of customization, not the way that the Caracara 4x4 version does, at least. So that is kind of lame, but at the same time, it is this counter this week, so I figured that I would mention it. Now, of course, before we get into anything else, we're gonna talk about how to make some money this week in GTA Online, and we have a few different ways that are on bonus money. So let's go ahead and talk about them. To get things started off, we have triple money, triple RP, and triple AP, or arena points, on the arena war game modes in GTA Online this week. And this is on every single arena war game mode. Now, something that you will need to be aware of is that it's pretty unlikely you're actually going to find people to play these game modes with, which does kind of suck. Now, unless a bunch of people get on for the triple money, triple RP, triple arena points, and everything like that, you're probably not going to find a game of these because people just don't do them anymore because the money isn't up to par with a lot of the other ways to make money in GTA Online. And this is, of course, a pretty big shame. I haven't played Arena War for years. In fact, I haven't even played on this character, as you can see. So that does kind of suck. But that is something to keep in mind because there are some discounts that are associated with Arena War coming up that we're going to talk about a little bit later in the video. So you guys are going to need to be aware of whether or not you should buy those vehicles or not. So we'll talk about that in a few minutes, but we've got a few more ways to make money. Next up, we have double money and double RP on the Condemned Adversary mode. This is actually a pretty fun one, and I would definitely recommend trying it out. It's a lot of fun. And if you got a couple buddies to play with, it makes it that much better. But if you don't, you might be able to find a game of it this week. I'd say it's honestly more likely to find a game of Condemned than it is to find a game of Arena War, which is pretty unfortunate. And last but not least, the best bonus money of the entire week is going to be found on payphone hits, which come through the agency. Now, these are going to be double money and double RP for the remainder of this week. Now, payphone hits were changed a little while ago. Instead of paying $85,000 and you could do them every, I believe it was 15 minutes or maybe it was a little bit longer, maybe it was 48 minutes. They've now been changed so that you can now do them in about five minutes, but they only pay 40,000. But of course this week they're gonna be paying 80,000 and you can do them every five minutes, which is not a bad little bonus we got here. This is definitely the best bonus of the week. And unfortunately that's kind of it for bonus money this week in GTA Online. The only other thing that you need to maybe be a little bit aware of is the fact that if you can manage to find two games of Arena War, you will get $100,000 for completing those as well as a rare mask. So that is something to keep in mind, but I'd say it's kind of unlikely to happen, unfortunately. But if you can manage to find a game, I mean, go for it. You might as well, right? Now to get things started with the discounts, we're starting on the Arena War website, and we do have the Arena War office and garages and everything all discounted this week. It's gonna be 30% off, so you can purchase the garages for 30% off and you can renovate them for 30% off. You can also get the workshop as well as all that other stuff, which you're going to need to be able to customize some of the cars that are on discount this week, all the arena war cars and things like that. Now, 30% off is a decent discount, but like I was saying earlier, if you're planning to get into arena war, I would say don't because you're not going to be able to play it unless it's on triple money and triple RP and Honestly, I doubt you're even going to be able to play it on Triple Money and Triple RP. So you need to be careful with purchasing the Arena War Office and everything like that, as well as the workshop and everything. Now, at the end of the day, you are still getting, you know, the workshop floor, which gives you, I think it's seven or eight garage slots. And then you also are getting the two garage floors, which are both 10 car garages. So potentially, you know, around 30 more car slots if you do buy an arena workshop. And there is, of course, the only location and it, that's at the arena. So not much to really choose from there. Um, I would not necessarily recommend buying it in the first place unless you really are in need of like garage space and stuff like that or you really want to go and buy some of these vehicles that are also discounted this week. So let's go ahead and talk about those. 
Now for the discounted vehicles this week, you're not going to find them under the upgradable vehicles category here. You are only going to find the discounts on this page, which is the vehicles that are already kind of started for you. Now we have the Cerberus discounted this week. We have the Brutus discounted this week. We have the Scarab discounted, the Imperator, and of course the ZR380. Now I'm going to be honest, a lot of these vehicles you're never really going to find a good use in free mode for. The Scarab does have a little bit of armor, so it does have that going for it, but it is kind of horrible to drive. However, the customization is really cool and it is a very unique vehicle. The Brutus, I wouldn't buy it. To be honest with you, I don't really think that there's going to be a time where you're going to be like, man, I really want the Brutus right now because it's not that fun to drive. The customization's cool, uh, but nothing too, too special. The Cerberus is an awesome vehicle, and it's one of the only vehicles in the game that you can get a flamethrower on the top of, and that in itself is really sweet. Still can't necessarily really recommend it though because you're not going to use it nearly as much as you think you are it's a really cool novelty item to have and if you have nothing but money to blow i mean buy all of these but if you're kind of on a budget you don't have all your businesses yet you don't have all the useful vehicles i would definitely not be spending it on any of these three ones on the top here the Imperator is absolutely horrible to drive. It wheel spins for days and it really hates corners a lot more than the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire does. So that's saying something. This thing is really hard to drive. I must just tell you guys that for sure. Now the ZR380 is probably the most usable out of all these vehicles. And with that being said, for just over 1.1 mil, it's like I'm pretty on the fence about if you guys should buy it. You can get some really cool upgrades for it. Like you make it look like this with the fully modded preview. You can kind of see what you're doing here. For the majority of players though, I just don't really think it's worth buying. And this thing for the record also has absolutely god awful handling. Very similar to the Imperator as a matter of fact although it is it is better okay so my game crashed midway through doing this of course uh, thanks rockstar and battle eye awesome you've made a very stable product it's only like the 10th time today but anyways i would say that for the majority of you guys buying the zr380 is probably not super worth now if you are going to buy these vehicles there is something that you must know and that is that whatever version you buy you will not be able to really change the style of too much so for example if you buy an apocalypse cerberus you will not be able to change it to a future shock cerberus it's not very ideal but so make sure if you are going to buy one of these vehicles or all of them whatever you're going to do make sure you buy the one that you like the most because the general style you cannot really change i personally think future shock is generally the best looking but depending on what you want uh, you can get the three different variants there's nightmare there's future shock and of course there's apocalypse so do keep that in mind for sure and the other thing to keep in mind is that to upgrade these vehicles to their full potential you will also need the arena war workshop and garage. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, before you buy any of these. Next up on Legendary Motorsport, we have the Vapid GB200 discounted this week, down from $940,000 to $658,000. For this price, this is a vehicle that I think is pretty awesome. It's got some good customization, it has relatively good performance, it's all wheel drive, has great acceleration, looks absolutely awesome. To me, for $658,000, you kind of can't go wrong with this. It drives very well and it performs decently while also looking good and having customization. 658k, you should probably buy one. Moving on to Warstock Cash and Carry, we have the JB700W on sale this week for 50% off, which is a pretty huge discount, I'm not gonna lie. And of course, the W variant of the JB700 is the weaponized version. So, if you do want a weaponized version of this car, an actual weaponized version, not the regular JB700, you can buy this thing. Now it does only get access to the front mounted MGs, but it does also get access to proximity mines. And there are a few different types of proximity mines that you can get access to with this vehicle. So that's something to keep in mind. For 735K, 50% off, you cannot go wrong with a JB700W. It's a pretty cool car. I would say to buy this one for sure. Now, you should know that the performance is not gonna be anywhere close to good, really. It's pretty slow and everything like that. But as like a novelty item, or if you like James Bond, you should definitely buy this. But if you want something that performs and does all that stuff, I'm just buying Night Shark, bro. But 
The 700W, pretty cool vehicle in my opinion, I would recommend this one. And scrolling a little further down, you'll also find the Vapid Caracara, which of course is sitting behind me, and it is going for just under $1,250,000, and as you can see here, this is everything you kind of need to know about it. I mean, it looks like that, it's got that on it, and it, yep, seats five players. Pretty cool vehicle, I would say that I do recommend this one this week. But not if you're wanting something to customize. Like I said earlier, it does not have anything in the way of customization. Purely for fun and messing around with maybe your friends or other players, this is a really good vehicle, but it does have exceptional handling, I must say. It's really, really good. The acceleration is also great, and it does have a pretty good top speed for being what it is. The Caracara is a cool vehicle, I would say, to buy it this week. Now over here on Southern San Andreas Super Autos, we have some limited time vehicles, like the Chariot Romero Hearse. For $31,500, buy it. Don't even, no questions asked, buy it. It's 31 grand. Who does not have 31 grand in GTA? Next up, we have the Declassy Tornado Rat Rod. Kind of a Halloween-ish themed vehicle, potentially, just because it looks kind of haggard and scary looking. For $264,000, it's pretty cheap, so it's kind of hard to go wrong with it. I would say to buy this thing. It's got a little bit of customization, and of course, if you do want to know more about it, you can always search up Harm None Tornado Rat Rod customization to find out more if you want to. We also, of course, have the Albany Lurcher added back into GTA Online this week as part of the Halloween sort of update from many, many years ago. But again, it's in the game right now, which it usually isn't. So that is cool. And it's also 30% off. So if you guys do not have one, I would recommend buying it. It is a limited time vehicle and it does have a uh, crazy zombie in the back like this and some you know livery options and things it's not the greatest vehicle of all time but it is pretty cool because it's kind of a novelty item for halloween we also have the albany brigham discounted this week for 30 percent off again this is like the ghostbusters car and it's got some really nice customization i will say now of course it is a terribly slow piece of shit but if you can look past that it is a pretty cool novelty vehicle people give me trouble for just not recommending cars that are fast this is one that if you're gonna buy it at some point anyways you might as well do it now because it's discounted i think it's pretty cool it's it's a cool item it's a cool vehicle to have it's super slow and terrible generally but the customization kind of makes up for it and if you're into it for a million bucks i mean it's kind of take it or leave it but uh, I would definitely buy the Lurcher before I'd buy this thing, but still, it is a pretty cool vehicle. And of course, in the motorcycles category, we have the LCC Sanctus, which is pretty cool. It's got a skull on it. It's got this crazy like webbing and stuff like that. Uh, the fuel tank area looks like it's like kind of like a rib cage. It's a pretty cool bike, and it is, of course, discounted down from just under $2 million to just under $1.4 million. Very expensive, I must say, and honestly, not really worth it for what you're getting other than the fact that it's like a limited time vehicle and that you cannot get it at all times of the year now if this looks appealing to you i would say buy it but just know that like for 1.4 mil you're pretty much getting scammed because it does suck as far as a motorcycle goes but it is cool because it's a novelty Halloween item and it's limited time and it's kind of rare. Not many players have it. So if that sounds appealing to you, then buy it. But for the vast majority of you, I would say don't buy it for sure. OK, so that's it for the vehicles on the websites. Now it's time to go to the casino car meet and the dealerships to talk about what's available there. And then, of course, to the chop shop as well. So let's go within the casino. We have the Benefactor Schlagen GT available to be won this week, and I would absolutely recommend trying to win this thing. It is an absolutely awesome car with really good customization and quite good performance as well. You can't go wrong with a Schlagen GT. Definitely try to win it. Within the LS car, mate, we have the Lampadati Novak available to be won this week. Kind of a rare SUV, one that you don't see very often in GTA Online. And one of the very fastest SUVs in the entire game. And to win it, you have to place first. And that's it. You just have to place first in a race. So definitely try to do this. The Novak is an awesome SUV. Now it is a relatively cheap one. It only goes for about $608,000, I do believe it is. So for that price, I mean, you could just buy it, but at the same time, if you can get it for free for winning one race, I mean, dude, that's an easy challenge. So definitely try that for sure, guys. Now within the car meet, we have three removed vehicles. Starting off on the left, we have the Benefactor Feltzer, and of course it is going for its regular price of $145,000. In the middle, we have the Fister 811, and it should be going for $1,135,000. Yes, I am correct. I'm, I'm getting good with my prices, guys. And of course we have the Coil Cyclone, the first 
Coil Cyclone, not to be confused with the Coil Cyclone 2, of course, and it is also discounted this week by 30% off, so it's going for $1,323,000. Not a bad price, definitely one that I would recommend getting. It is one of the better performing electric vehicles on all platforms. Now, if you are in the new generation consoles, the Coil Cyclone 2 beats this thing in every possible metric. So if you're on new gen, I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying this, but for those of you on PC, Xbox One, PS4, you can't really go wrong with it. It's a pretty good vehicle. The customization is nice and the performance is good, especially for an electric vehicle in GTA Online. So there you have it. Oh, and I would also say that I do recommend purchasing the Fister 811. It's a pretty cool vehicle and it is removed and the Benefactor Felter is a must have this week for 145 grand. The performance this thing delivers for that price is insane and it's got some nice customization to go with. You can't really go wrong with it. The 811's got a little bit of customization, not a whole lot, but it is kind of worth buying and the Cyclone does have lots of customization. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, something else to keep in mind this week for discounts, guys, we do have the green Martian bodysuit and purple Martian bodysuit, both free this week in GTA Online. And we also do have discounts on a lot of the arena, actually all of the arena war clothing outfits, which is pretty cool. And they are, I believe, 30% off, which is pretty crazy. You guys should definitely buy some of these if you guys are interested, but at the least, come get the green Martian suit and the purple Martian suit. Why not? Within Simians, we have some more removed vehicles starting off in the corner with the Anis Helion. Now, this thing is unfortunately not discounted this week, but it is removed. So if you guys are interested, it is here and it goes for $860,000. Not a bad price whatsoever. It does have a pretty cool livery on it. So definitely come get this one. The Anis Helion is one that I do recommend. Next up, we have the Western Daemon. This thing's pretty cool looking. I'm not super familiar with it. I'm not going to lie to you. For 170 grand, you probably can't really go wrong with it. But at the same time, I don't know. You maybe could as well. So I can't really say. I honestly can't really say. Next up, we have the LCC Sanctus. So this is what it looks like. You can get a much better look at it in Simeon's dealership. It is pretty sweet looking, I'm not gonna lie. And of course it is uh, it is discounted as well. Like I said earlier in the video for, you know, just about $1.4 million. So if you're interested and you wanna know more about it before you purchase it, you can come here and, uh, and have a good look at it to make sure you want it before you purchase it. Same with the Chariot Romero hearse right here for $31,500. And of course, the Declassy Tornado Rat Rod, which is also available here so you guys can come check it out. And you can even test drive it before you purchase it for two $264,000, so keep that in mind. At Luxury Autos, yet again, we don't have some of the very newest vehicles available here. We do have the Canis Terminus, which is from at least one DLC ago, I do believe, so that's pretty cool. And we also have the Karen Astro GZ available. So things are maybe slightly improving around here. Oh, oh my God, I just got nailed by a car. Okay, nice. Yeah, good job, Rockstar. Let's keep this up. Let's let's even go further back and get some removed vehicles from previous DLCs. Please, Rockstar, let's do it. You, you're almost doing so good with Luxury Autos. You're almost there. You, you're so close. Within the Chop Shop, these are the vehicles that are available to be stolen. And of course, you can actually claim one this week. Pretty sure we didn't even have a claimable vehicle in September there, but we do have one this week, and that is, of course, the Albany Frank and Stange. But to get the Pegasi Torero, you're going to need to complete the Podium Robbery for the Albany Frankenstein. You will need to complete the Cargo Ship Robbery. And of course, for the Albany Hermes, you will have to complete the Duggan Robbery. All right, guys. And of course, last but not least, we have to go over the time trials for the week. To start things off, we have your RC Bandito time trial, which is Cypress Flats. Your Junk Energy time trial is, of course, Mirror Park. Your regular time trial is Storm Drain. And your HSW time trial is North Chumash to Palomino Highlands. Anyway, guys, there you have it. That has been it for what to buy and what to avoid this week in GTA Online. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you learned something, a like is, of course, appreciated. If not, feel free to dislike, of course. Consider subscribing to my channel, especially if you watch my content already. A lot of you guys watch, not a lot of you sub, so I would appreciate if you would join up. It is, of course, free, so there's no real downside to it. Anyway, guys, thank you for sticking around to the end. If you made it to the end, comment a 7 down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace.